Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Tonight, happy Wednesday. We had one thing for you. Now we have another because things aren't changing enough in this country or changing fast enough. We begin tonight with a Fox News alert. We just learned that Democrats in the Congress are preparing a bill to pack the Supreme Court, to add four new justices to our Supreme Court. That would change the country forever. Now, we're going to be monitoring this and bringing more details as we get them. But as of right now, we know these things. The bill is being led by Congressman Jerry Nadler of New York, that's in the House, and in the Senate by Senator Ed Markey of Massachusetts. Again, packing the Supreme Court. You remember President Biden said he was impaneling some kind of blue ribbon commission to consider this. Now, elected Democrats in the Congress are trying to force it. Joining us now to react is Judge Jeanine Pirro. She's the host of Justice with Judge Jeanine. Judge, thanks so much for joining us tonight. So packing the Supreme Court, this is something that Franklin Roosevelt tried, had to back off because it was, it was considered too radical in the middle of the most radical legislative period in American history, the New Deal. This was too much. What would this mean if it were to happen? What this would mean, Tucker, is that we would have another legislative body uh, in the United States. Congress has historically uh, been filled, uh, the Supreme Court has historically been filled by presidents who, when they are there, if there's a vacancy, they appoint someone in line with their thinking. So sometimes they're more liberal, sometimes they're more conservative. And I think that when President Trump had the ability, the ability to add three justices, the left went crazy. Now, Biden wouldn't answer, if you'll recall, the question during the, uh, during the campaign, and neither would Congress. Kamala Harris answer. And now they just had a committee that was supposed to look at it. Now, all of a sudden, they've got a bill uh, that, that the House, they've got support in the House and in the Senate. This will change the United States dramatically. The left will have the ability to have a court, which is essentially nothing more than a legislative leaning uh, body that will approve of all of the issues that they are trying to make uh, across the board in the United States. We will no longer have a Supreme Court that is based on the number of justices, to, depending upon who the president is. And it will all be leaning toward the person who is in office and who has the power. This is madness. It's right. madness, as if the country isn't lost enough. I, I wonder if it, just by this happening, the country doesn't change. I mean, so people imagine the Supreme Court, our third branch of government, is essentially impartial. I mean, these are wise people with lifetime appointments whose only job is to assess legislation against the Constitution and decide whether it's consistent with that. The Democrats are now saying no more pretense. It's purely a political body. The rubber stamps our agenda. I mean, won't this change how people feel about exactly. the court? Well, it'll change what people feel about the court, but that won't make a darn bit of difference to the people who are in power who are determined to make sure that their agenda right. is passed because you've got the president okay. and you've got the uh, you've got the Congress and now you've got the Supreme Court. I mean, look, you can look at amendments to the Constitution and decide that there are issues that really spin off of that amendment. When you have activists on the Supreme Court, they can take issues that we never considered constitutional issues and make them the law of the land. This is lunacy, whether it has to do with unions or criminal justice or whatever their agenda is for the day. There is no longer an objective body that the United States can respect, the Supreme Court of the land. They will, but, we will lose right. our respect for that court as nothing more than a political, con, uh, political legislative body, an imprimatur, if you will, think, for the Democrats. I think that's wise. And I think your first observation is every bit as wise, which is they don't care what you think, this is, which is not the way we think of democracy. In a democracy, our leaders care what we think by definition. Judge Jean, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you.